mankind looks for answers, we often look up. The global space economy is looking up, way up, reaching $447 billion in 2020, with the commercial growth rate exceeding 6%. Today, it's an economy that includes more nations participating than ever, a growing economy driven largely by the commercial sector, with 80% of the market coming from private business. Products from space range from biology and pharmaceuticals to computer technology, communications, and advanced materials. Formed in a zero-gravity environment, the characteristics of these products are promising. What today's space economy needs is a cost-effective method to bring all these products and inventions back to the people on Earth. Enter SpaceWorks re-entry device, RED. SpaceWorks has been researching, developing, and building a return capsule to meet the needs of the space economy. Let's take a look. After pairing with a separate propulsive stage, RED shares a ride to low Earth orbit on one of several available commercial rockets. After receiving the payload and performing a controlled deorbit burn, RED separates from the propulsive stage. On the wings of a guided parafoil, the capsule re-enters and precisely lands in a predetermined recovery zone. Space payloads and products are returned to Earth, on demand. Our technology is nearing readiness for spaceflight. We've been working with government sponsors, as well as making our own investments in RED. We've tested our capsule, brought a payload from near-Earth orbit, and landed it safely and precisely. In addition to our RED-25, holding 25 kilograms of payload, about 55 pounds, we've designed other models, depending on cargo size. The future of cost-effective, on-demand payload return is now. Will you join us in taking RED to low Earth orbit? Learn more about RED and its role in serving the ever-growing space economy by contacting SpaceWorks today. Until then, keep looking up.